Over the past few weeks, we've seen God do big things here in the tiny Micronesian island of Guam. Night after night, the people of God have rallied together to raise up a shelter of hope on an island that has seen their fair share of devastation, destruction, and disappointment. This U.S. island territory was not only a brutal battlefield during the Second World War, but it remains a spiritual battlefield today, a place where the enemy has enslaved people in a prison of spiritual darkness. The island has been rocked in recent years by various church scandals, scandals that have shaken people's trust in their mother church and even in Father God himself. But each night under this big white tent, the liberating light of truth has penetrated the darkness. Jesus has been lifted up through song and word, and many have come to know that there is a God that we can trust, a God that has revealed himself through his word, a God that has provided a sanctuary of refuge in a dark and dangerous world, and a God that transcends the walls of a particular house of worship and surpasses the sacraments of the routine of religious formality, a God that loves us, and a God that is coming back soon to rescue us from the battlefield of this world. As I've looked into the faces of the island people each night, I've seen many eager faces, open hearts, wet eyes, and hopeful expressions. I've seen the deep conviction on the countenances of the people. And I've seen the deep conviction turn into beautiful conversions as many have responded to Jesus in decisions for baptism. We praise God and give Him all the glory for the salvation we've been experiencing under this big white tent. The enemy has tried his best to stop these meetings from happening even to the extent of destroying our family home by fire just days before we came here to Guam. He's tried his best to distract us in so many different ways, but he's a defeated enemy. He cannot stop the light of truth from shining, and he cannot stop the power of God from moving. And the more he seeks to distract us, the more determined we are to do all we can to do damage to his kingdom with the sword of the Spirit and with the fire of truth. And today, I want to encourage you to do the same. Yes, we live on a brutal battlefield and we face a mighty enemy, but he is a defeated enemy. Jesus has already won the war. And as long as we stay under the big white tent of his righteousness, we will be protected by his amazing grace and his saving love. But remember that God is not only calling us to come ourselves, he's also calling us to go and bring others to his salvation shelter of hope, that people might receive relief from their disaster in the red cross of the master. And so let us go so that people will know His beautiful and saving revelation of hope.